Are you serious? Are you serious? The earth is shaking and quaking. The devil's back is breaking. And the earth is literally just coming alive. Well, here's why. Because we're living in the days that the Bible said we'd see great signs, not only in the heavens, like the comet Ison, but on the earth, like the forming of an island before your very eyes. Well, we've seen this happen before, and it's not strange and new to the earth, but in this last days, there seems to be this unbelievable activity going on that's affecting the planet. Now, I want to thank Joshua for sending this report to me, but there's been a land rush. That's right. An erupting island rises south of Tokyo. You've got to be worried about that when they're taking the fuel rods out of the Fukushima power plant. That thing is melting down. Are you serious? And now they're trying to move those rods and cradle them from one pool to another while earthquakes and islands are forming and a common ice is racing toward the sun with that gravitational pull with solar flares erupting on the sun. Do we really know what's going on? Well, let me tell you this right now. A volcano eruption has raised a small island in the sea off the Japanese coast. Let me show you a picture of this thing. Are you serious? Are you serious? What? Are you serious? I mean, this island wasn't there. It wasn't there. Now it is. So do you understand the explosive nature? Why do you think Japan has got an earthquake every day, it seems? I mean, and I'm talking over 4.0 almost every day. Sometimes over 5, sometimes over 6. I mean, it was just two weeks ago, they had a 7.3, about 40 miles from there. So that means underneath the sea, it's deep, deep, deep into the waters of the depths, God is, 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 is belching forth the power of this planet. And should we be tinkering with nuclear power? Well, look at this. The Japanese Coast Guard has, has issued a warning as this new land mass is spitting steam, black smoke, ash, and rocks. The new island is part of a, of a new set of island chains uh, known as the Bon Islands. It's a group of some 20 uninhabited islands located approximately 1,000 kilometers from the Japanese capital of Tokyo. The, uh, the islands uh, are estimated to be about 200 meters in diameter. Now, this new island may, be, may erode away just as quickly as it appears, but it also may become a permanent part of the chain. In other words, nobody knows. So if you don't know whether or not this, first of all, scientists couldn't tell me that this island was going to form. Number two, scientists can't tell me if that island's going to stay. Number three, scientists can't tell me if that island's going to get bigger and stay permanent. So if you can't answer any of those questions, should we be moving nuclear uh, spent fuel rods Cradling them. Don't let it touch the air. Don't let it touch one another. And we got to put them in this new pool. Be very careful. When the earth is literally moving under your feet. This is my question. It's just a question. Oh, and then, oh, by the way, while you're at it, you've got the comet Ison racing toward the sun. It's going to do a para, parahelium where it's going to whip around the sun. And when it whips around that sun, folks, it's slinging a tail. I don't even know how many miles long. I mean, I've heard from 7 million, now I've heard 12 million miles long. I mean, this thing's enormous. It's enormous. And, and, and we're going to have to pass through the debris field that is in the tail from the comet Ison, which this, with the Earth has never done this before. We've never passed through this comet's debris field because this comet is on its maiden voyage into our solar system. So on January the 15th, when we pass through this tail, do we know what kind of, how many asteroids, meteorites, and things may actually break through the Earth's atmosphere? Or do we understand the gravitational pull, electronic, electromagnetic pull on the Earth that could affect uh, earthquakes or volcanic activity? Should we be moving spent nuclear fuel rods at a shaky, quaky, achy, Fukushima power plant? I'm just asking questions, and nobody seems to have the answers. Now, uh, th this, 
Are you serious? We need to talk about this today on my live show. Let's just do this. Let's talk about it. Today's show, you don't want to miss it because, of course, Jesse Waltman will be with us from BP Earthwatch as our guest. And so we'll be talking about the comet ice and the comet inky, the solar flares on the sun, the, the perihelium of the comet ice and as it whips around the sun, the effect of asteroids, meteorites that could be upon the Earth, and why are they moving this Fukushima uh, spent fuel rods, and what is going on? Because right over there by that, we got islands forming off the coast of Japan. Should we be asking these questions? Let me ask you this question. Should we be talking to the Lord? I mean, should, if you're not saved, shouldn't you be saying, hey, whoa, I need to get, you need to get saved no matter what. I mean, because you could be dead tomorrow. It doesn't matter about all this other stuff. Okay? You don't want to die in your sins. You don't want to die without Christ in your life. I mean, that's vitally important. And let me just take it another step further. I don't want you to get saved just out of because of the fact you could die tomorrow. I mean, that's important. But I want you to get saved because it's life-changing. I want you to receive the power and the joy and the confidence you can have in your life in the Word of God, knowing that God's Word is so true. He'll never leave you. He'll never forsake you. He'll go with you all the way, even to the very end of the world. I want you to come to Jesus because of the life-changing joy and victory you can have. And it doesn't matter what's going on around you, because you know greater is He that's in you than he that's in the world. Are you saved? Let's give our lives to Jesus Christ. I'll be right back, folks, with some unbelievable footage of Obamacare that's going to blow your mind. I'll be right back. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're in the last days. Are you serious?